Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today we will understand how to do path analysis in SPSS MS. Path analysis was first developed by Swill Wright in 1930s for use in phylogenetic studies. Path analysis is a statistical technique based upon a linear equation system used to examine causal relationship between two or more variables. It is just a series of regressions applied sequentially to the data. In a regression model, each independent variable has a direct effect on the dependent variable. In a path analysis model, in addition to the direct effect, there is also an indirect effect of an independent variable via a mediating variable on the dependent variable. The main difference between the two types of model is that the path analysis assumes that all variables are measured without error. SAM uses latent variables to account for the measurement error. SAM utilizes path diagrams to represent relationship between variables just like path analysis. However, it also incorporates latent variables which are not directly observed but inferred from the manifested variables. SAM enables the estimation of relationship between both observed variables and the latent variables. SAM assumes that the variables may be measured with error and it allows for the estimation of measurement error in the model. It also assumes that the model is correctly specified, meaning that the proposed relationships are an accurate representation of the underlying theory. So you can see here, DF is a construct which is captured with the help of these statements, and these are the measured error. Now, all these errors are moving towards direct customer, and this is the endogenous variable. And this particular error is known as a residual error. Path analysis is a subset of structural equation modeling, a multivariate procedure. Path analysis has a more restrictive set of assumptions than SAM. Example, no correlation between the error terms. Path analysis assumes that all variables are observed and measured without error. It does not explicitly account for measurement error or account for the latent variable. Path analysis assumes that all variables are measured without error. Path analysis is a subset of SAM and focuses on analyzing the direct relationship between variables in a model. It examines the magnitude and the significance of the relationship among variables but does not consider latent variables. Path analysis contains only observed variables, no latent variables as SAM. You can see here. In this slide, I have tried to explain the difference between SAM and the path analysis. Loyalty is captured with the help of four statements, S1, S2, S3, S4, and these are their measured errors, E1 to E4. Similarly, motivation is captured with the help of statements T1 to T4, and these are their measured errors. Loyalty has got the effect on retention of an employee. Motivation has got an effect on the retention of an employee and therefore E13, E13 is the overall residual error of the model. Retention is measured with the help of statements S1 to S4 and these are the errors related to the, uh, these are the measured error for the statements. E13 is the overall residual error of the model. This is structural equation modeling. Now when I convert this into the path analysis, see what happens we no longer have the measured error now we are having only the observed variable that is loyalty motivation and retention and the error which is left is the residual error path analysis and composite scores are related in the sense that they can be used together to examine complex relationship among variables and understand the underlying mechanisms of a construct Composite scores, on the other hand, are constructed by combining multiple individual variables into a single score. This is done to simplify data analysis or create summary measure that represents a broader construct. The composite score is then calculated by summing the weighted values of the individual variables. This process allows researchers to condense multiple variables into a single score that represents the underlying construct. The resulting composite score can be used in subsequent analysis or comparisons. Now let's see how we can uh, create the composite scores in SPSS data file. So first we'll go in SPSS data file, we'll go in the variable view. 
The organizational commitment has been captured with the help of four statements OC1, OC2, OC3, OC4. Similarly, environmental perception is captured with the help of EP1, EP2, EP3, EP4. Job satisfaction, again four statements. Behavior of the co-workers has been captured with the help of four statements AC1, AC2, AC3 and AC4 and staying intention of an employee are captured with the help of four statements S1, S2, S3 and S4. Now we want to calculate their composite scores. So we will go in transform, compute variable and I will write down here mean, mean of JS1, comma, JS2, comma, JS3, comma, and this is JS4, comma. So this is job satisfaction. Make sure you use underscore. Click OK. And you can see here. In the data view that we have got one more variable that is job satisfaction now i'll repeat this procedure for the other statements again i'll go in transform compute variable the previous command is still active i'll press the reset button and now again i'll write on mean oc1 comma oc2 comma OC3, comma, OC4, bracket close, and this is my organizational commitment. Press OK. Again, I will activate compute variable. Press reset. So, job satisfaction is done, organizational commitment is done. Now, environmental perception. So, mean EP1, comma, EP2, comma, EP3, comma, EP4, press OK. So the composite score of the environmental perception is also done. Again, I'll activate the dialog box. Now I want to calculate the composite score of the behavior of the co-workers. I'll press the reset button. Mean. So the behavior of the co-workers is measured with the help of statements AC1, comma, AC2, comma. AC3, comma, AC4, and that is co-workers. Press OK. Now, again, I'll activate from here, compute variable, press reset, and now staying intention of an employee. SI1, comma, SI2, comma, SI3, comma, SI4, staying intentions. Click OK. Now, you can see we are having the composite score of job satisfaction, organized commitment, environmental perception, co-workers, and staying intention. We'll save this file. Save. Now we will go in SPSS MS. We'll activate MS from here. I'll select the plain canvas, new. Now, I will import this file here, file name. This is file HBATSAM. I'll 
activate this file from here as bt7 click open okay um, just a minute let's see the variables which are there yeah we are having this variables fine these are all the variables which we have created right now and these are the variables in our model so i can directly pick up the variable from here environment and perception and then organizational commitment behavior of the co-workers job satisfaction staying intention of an employee now i'll connect them one two three four and i'll co-vary this this can be done with the help of one two and three let's make the model clean pick up the magic wand one two three four now we will have to place the residual error of the model so tools uh, you will have to pick up the error from here this one one two go in plugins name unobserved variables now click here analysis property output Standardized estimates, squared multiple correlations, which is basically R square, and run the model. So you can give the name here, HBAT demo. Whatever name you want to give, you can give it here. And the model will run. Now we want text. Click on the model fit. Click on the estimates. You can see here the environmental perception and its effect on job satisfaction. The p value is less than 0 0.003 and means that it is significant. Uh, effect of co workers on job satisfaction p value more than 0 0.484 and therefore this is insignificant. Effect of organizational commitment on job satisfaction is also insignificant because this p value is more than 0 0.05. Three stars means highly significant. So environmental perception and job satisfaction are affecting environmental perception is affecting job satisfaction and job satisfaction is affecting staying intention of an employee. So just click on it and you will get the in interpretation. When environmental perception goes up by one unit, job satisfaction goes up by 0.133. Now you can go again on the canvas. You can click on standardized estimates. Click the up arrow and you can get the R square also. This is R square. It's quite, quite low. But you will get the R square here. So this is unstandardized estimates. Uh, this is standardized estimates. And when you click here, you will get the unstandardized estimates. So this is the way you can do path analysis using composite scores in SPSS MS. For more videos on SPSS MS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the like button. You can see in my playlist where I uploaded many videos on SPSS MS.